Bad news permeates every nook and cranny of our lives. Doesn't matter what you watch, what you read, who you listen to, it's always bad. People are bad, solutions are bad, the future's bad, the past is bad, whatever. You know what, and I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. There is so much good news to share that we don't talk about. This week, uh, we fulfilled a wish for someone. I, I, I told the congregation maybe a month ago that if anybody had a car they might want to donate, that we were, St. Mark's was helping a, 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 a family who needed a car. Well, guess what? Today, uh, we've got a car to give to this person who needed this car. Thanks to the generosity of so many people within our community. That's really good news. That's gonna actually change the life for this family because they've got a car. It's got 190,000 miles on it, but it works great and, you know, good enough. This afternoon, we're delivering a whole bunch of school materials to a, a school down in West Palm Beach that has needs and, and we can fulfill them. And, Teachers in our pre-K-2 at St. Mark's had a bunch of things that they were able to give away. And so a carload of materials going down to the school down in West Palm Beach. I think that's really good news. And I think you need to know it. And I think you need to appreciate that in this world of doom and gloom, God's glory, God's light, God's love always shines bright. Don't give up on that. You know, trust trust in the goodness of, of, of humankind and, and trust in God's goodness to always lead us to those places where new life is possible. Um, we're called to do more than sit back with our arms folded, pouting because we don't like what we see. Get up off your chair, open up your pocketbooks, get out there and take advantage of the day that God has given to us because you and I are better than the news we're told. See you Sunday.